All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about Surf and OpenCV using Python. So we'll start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump right into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we will see how we could obtain these features here on the right. So what is Surf? Surf stands for Speeded Up Robust Features. Okay, so it's a method to find features and images. And it's very similar to Sift, like we talked about previously, but with some special details that are different, which we'll go into. So why do we need Surf? The idea is, the main thing is for feature detection, but also for robustness reasons. And I would say the one of the big advantages is that it's faster for real-time applications compared with Sift. Okay, so how does Surf work? Step one is you have uh, interest point detection, similar idea of using a scale space extrema. So um, one of the simplifications here is that in SIFT, we are using LOG or approximating as uh, DOG, but here with SURF, we're using box filters. So it simplifies the filter a lot more. So um, the idea is you'll have some Hessian here and you will get a box filter that could be approximated as so on um, right here, as you can see. So these here are the box filter approximations and on the left is the Hessian. Okay, so the idea is we could find the features by convolving it with these filters here. And another main difference is the way the octaves are formed. So typically in SIFT, what you would do is you would scale the image um, but here with the surf, you're actually scaling the filter and keeping the image the same size. So that's one of the main differences. And step two is a key point localization. So what you'll typically do is do the non-maximal suppression in a three by three, three by three by three neighborhood. And then we will use the Hessian matrix to interpolate uh, in scale and image space using the, the determinant, okay? So that will help us find which, which key points we want to keep. And then to describe the key points, um, we'll have to do some things with orientation. So there's what's called the Haar wavelet response, and you could do it in the X or Y direction. So it simplifies things because instead of using the inverse tangent, we have a faster way of finding the directions by using these um, wavelet filters or wavelet response. So the idea is you have a sliding window that is used to find the main direction. So the idea is you'll convolve it with you know, some area and then you'll see which area has the most response. And then that area that has the most response will correspond to your main direction. Okay, so the key point descriptor, how does that work? So the idea is it'll use a 64 dimensional vector, whereas SIFT use a 128 dimension vector. And what we're actually capturing are these different values. So delta, uh, sigma of dx, and sigma of the magnitude of dx, and same for dy's. So the idea is you want to obtain both how many times these values of dx occurs and the total, the sum of the magnitude and kind of compare the, between the different features. So here dx and dy is defined as so, it's just um, if you were to imagine you have like some y-axis and some x-axis here. So you're just breaking up a vector into the x and y and you're summing up all the dx's for these vectors. Okay, and then once you get that, um, for one area of, that you're looking at, you could uh, describe it based off of these sums. So next part is the uh, key point matching. So the idea with the key point matching, another thing that Surf added was that you will look at the blobs and see how the blobs are different by comparing the intensity. So if they're both black, then we know it matches. If they're both white, we know it matches. But if we see it's a black and white opposing intensities, and we know right away is no match. So it's like an initial uh, filtering step that we do to speed up the process. Okay, so let's jump into the coding example. OK, 
Okay, so with surf, some or with surf, I mean some things to notice are previously we had uh, er, a newer version of Python with surf specifically to kind of get around it. You need to install um, what I'm using is Python 3.6, and then you need to do the OpenCV contrib Python. So I will paste it here. You're gonna need to pip install this. Um, this will work with some of the surf calls that we'll be using. So just use that if you don't want to deal with some of the issues of not finding certain functions. Okay, And again, I'm using Python 3.6 here. And I've already created a virtual environment, uh, specifically 3.6.8, if you want to replicate what I'm doing here. Okay, so to start off, we're going to do import cv2 as cv, and then import numpy as mp, import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt and import os okay so we're going to create our function called surf and we have our if name equals main and we're going to call our surf function here so inside of here we're going to go ahead and create our root path os dot get cwd and then we have our image path equals os.path.join, and we'll pass in root demo images, and we're going to use our tessa.jpg. Okay, so we're going to convert our image to grayscale, do cv.onread, pass in our image path, and then we're going to by default read it as gray, so onread um, read, um, read, uh, gray here. Okay, so one thing we want to find first is what's called the Hessian threshold. So this will help us determine um, how much of it to keep or throw out. And we're going to choose a value of 3000. You could tune that parameter to see what works. And then we're going to create a surf object. So cv.x, it's called x features uh, 2d.surf underscore uh, create here. And we're going to pass in our threshold. Okay, so this will create our surf object. And then to find the key points, we use surf.detect, pass in our gray image, and then our second parameter is none for the mask. Image gray here is going to be, we're going to update our image so that the key points are drawn. So we're going to do cv.draw uh, key points. And uh, what we're going to pass in is our gray image and then our key points, and then our output image here again. And the color we're going to do, we'll skip that. And the flags for drawing, the option we're going to choose is cv uh, draw matches flag uh, draw rich key points. So what this will do is show some of the orientations, as we will see shortly. And then simply we'll create our figure plt dot um, show, pass in our gray image, and then plt dot show. So this should plot our features here. So if I run my code, let's see what's happening. Okay, I just restarted my terminal and then um, the things restarted. But here you can see now my surf feature is showing. So, you know, depending on what part you zoom in, you can see it has detected a lot of features. Here's the Tesla logo. And then up here, you can see more features with the trees and so on. So later on when we do feature matching, we can see how we can use some of these features to use. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.